Right, now this is very important to me because, I mean, obviously there's a lot of my friends here and it starts a bit of the history about the likes of this picture here because, believe it or not, this is one of the guys that really inspired me back in the day to start lifting stones as okay. Andy Kearney. At that time, the guy was a world beater, there's no doubt about it, at yes. that time. Especially when you saw who was lifting what on the TV at the time, he was just about there. Basically, it's just all my friends. I mean, this is when they were first, this is the first year they were used in the IHGF, which wasn't that year, it was this year, with, I think it was Donna Moore. Okay. That was the first year they were actually in an actual major competition, like a stone lifting world federation thing, right? This is the year that Stockman's winning it. So yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, we, are, we know. Tom and this is, well. this, is, this is when uh, Luke, did the world record on him because that was the first ah yes okay right? okay and, I, and i will be i'll say this about luke where luke did the world record and how far he got was incredible because the ground was like a park like an old plowed oh, park really? right i like this right so for that guy to get as far as he got was mind-blowing because i'm not taking nothing away from anybody but where we do it down at patark it's yes. quite flat for luke to do the distance he did was <laughs> mind-blowing and especially because he just he drove up from manchester that night I, I remember, yes. So they yeah, were yeah. driving, so fair play to Luke. Well, here's Mark Haydock there. That's him lifting my two big ones. Oh, that's the that's, heavy ones you yeah, were talking that, about earlier. Two. And how heavy are each of those then? Well, that's 209, 202. Yeah, incredible. And that's when he did the world record on the Denny Stones. That's his, obviously his record there, 46 seconds. Which, so has that been beaten yet? No, no. Okay, so that's so that's the current world record, 46.3 yeah. seconds, yeah. and that was set in, uh, uh, when was it? 2019. 2019 yeah. by Mark. Yeah. There's been plenty of people tried it, but just not come yes, close. Yes, we've seen that last year at the, uh, at the gathering. Yeah, not even close. Uh, and, and I'll tell you another thing. I've got to give this guy credit. My son hadn't turned up. My little son hadn't arrived yet. So Mark had to, he was ready to go. He did the record. Then my son turned up 15 minutes later and he did it again in front of my son and he got 45 seconds. So we told my son that, that was him breaking the record. So, right, he did, okay. so he did it twice. Twice. In the space of about 20 minutes. So oh. must have been screaming. Aye, well, the thing about Mark, he's just a different unit altogether than most people. I'll, I'll, I'll say that about him, like. And what's this? I see some famous faces here. This is when Eddie Hall and that in the History Channel came down to Dinny. So the, it was Eddie uh, Hall, Brian Shaw, Shaw, Robert Oberst and, and Nick, Nick Best. Nick aye. Best, yeah, so. yeah. I took the Manickle Stones down just for them to have a warm up. Right. right? And this is the bridge, is this it? This is the bridge, bridge. at Pedark, okay. yeah. Okay. Yep. So this is the bridge that historically. Donald Denny carried yeah. the stones over, uh, yes. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. yeah. That man came with a different mindset to them all. Right? Brian Shaw. Brian I, yeah, absolutely. I don't get me wrong, everybody else is amazing, but there was just something about Brian that day, and I don't really know the man, but you could just feel that. He meant business. Aye, he was coming to yeah, do something. Coming to he wasn't something. coming just to show a face or do something. He came to do something special, and he did. It was unbelievable. Gigantic, man. That's him there with my son as well. Amazing. And they were really, he was amazing with all the kids and that. Such a nice guy. This is when the Empire Stone was put up to the Braemar Highland Games Museum mm -hmm. for its permanent place. So we were all there that day doing some lifts with it. Cause it was obviously at June Richards house and she'd passed away. Yes, yes. So we took it up to there. Yeah, so a lot of history. Yeah. The gathering there, that's the one that was up in a Boyne Law. 2021. Okay, yeah. 2021, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a magic venue as well. Connor, Corin, just amazing. Connor not claim it again well, 2022, did he not? I claimed it again, but I don't think he's going to do it this year. I think we'd, he's just going to come down and judge it. Right, right? okay. Well, fair play to Connor. He's, he's won it two years in a row. Yes, okay. when Mark Felix tried it and Lawrence Charlie as well. That was down at Petark. That was a great day as well. Oh, this must have been this day here. <coughs> yeah, it was day, amazing, yeah. yeah. What makes the walk so bad with them? Why do people find it so much, so challenging? Well, I think it's because the nature of that stones, right? Right. If you try and take off with them, they bounce about on your leg. So like rattling off. Yeah. Right, so, okay. and it doesn't matter how big you are. You're never going to manhandle them once they start going. No, 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 I there's mean, a lot of momentum there. Yeah, people can, but when you get to, I've always said with the Nickel Watkins, especially at Giants Life, after 10 metres, it divides everybody up. Most of the big guys get to 10 metres, but from 10 metres onwards, that's when everybody has to dig in and concentrate. So what's yeah. a good distance with, with, with the stones if you're a normal guy training a bit in the gym, just out of interest? I would say most people that are quite, quite strong, if they got to 30 feet, they're doing amazing. Right, okay. Which is half the distance of these guys. Holds the record anyway, currently. Uh, yeah, currently. currently. And who's I, it indoor? Is that Kevin? It's Kevin Ferris. Kevin Ferris, yeah. okay. He really likes having that record. Yes. It's just something he's really good at, and you can see that. But I'll tell you one thing. Another guy who's a really dark horse, so I reckon, has potential to beat them all. It's Paul Smith. He was absolutely mind-blowing at the Giants Live. And the Nickel Stones are going to be in again this year, 2023. Yeah, Royal Albert Hall. Okay. So that'll be quite exciting. Do you reckon a new record will fall then? 
Well, I, I do, because I, I personally think Kevin Ferris had further in him in Glasgow, but he just put them down. Okay, so there could be a bit more squeezed oh, out of this oh, he, he, oh, he could definitely squeeze it out. I looked at the handles on them there, the thin <coughs> handle. It's yeah. even thinner, I think. If, correct me no, if I'm wrong, the dinny. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's, yeah. Re- it's like cheese wire, that yeah, would be very yeah, sore. Absolutely. It's not only being strong, and now not only having good core strength and stability, but you also have to endure that awful oh, pain. 100%, and, yeah. yeah. You've got, look, if you come into the nickel walking stones or any walking stones thinking that you don't have to train for it, you're a madman because you need to get your hands conditioned to it. Yes. And I mean, it's ace walking with pins. They work amazingly, they give you a taste of it, but nothing compares to the real stones. Even the dinny rings, they are are great for walking with but they won't get you they get you sort of prepared for my stones i can see they're they not the same you need something no. specific the handle shapes is different oh 100 and, yeah. and thinner yeah and smaller and smaller and yeah. smaller yeah, so yeah. less space as well for your hand but then if in. mark felix can get his hand in it anybody's getting their hand in it right god yes and, and he is the only guy no offense to every other guy nobody's really complained lately but he's never com- he never complained once about the handles I've never heard him say anything about them, so... Just as well, I've not had a go. I'd be moaning non-stop. <laughs> I know, but I, I was quite shocked as well, because Mark is one of the only guys that's done it without a hook grip. He didn't even use hook grip? Nope, no, which is it's insane. insane. Right. It is insane. Yeah. yeah. On the footage I've got, the last few metres he did, they were here. His fingertips. Yeah. And he's still holding on. Yeah, just incredible. He is a mutant of strength though, when it comes <laughs> yeah. to grip stuff. Well, I Mark actually is... texted him the other day because he just did a record at Iceland. At Iceland, yeah. And I said, fun, yeah. I goes, yeah, you need to do nickel stones next. And he goes, absolutely. So, because I know it's always on his agenda. Yes. Right. I think he'd like to. Aye, the outdoor record. Amazing. Yeah. So what else have you got in there? In your, uh, in your. This is a fantastic well, place in here. Well, and they're not in production, <laughs> but this is all through time. That's the first ones, David Horns, back in nineties. Going right through to now. I mean, they're all good. This is my son's little ones that got made. Oh, really? Especially for my son, yeah. Little tiny wee ones. So yeah. he's into it as well. So you're passing that tradition <clears throat> down, are you? Well, he, is, he was into it a wee bit. He's not, he's not so much now. He's into football, so. How do you clean it? One hand or two? One hand? <laughs> oh, no. It's just the thickness. Yeah. Hey, you don't even know. Cut. Don't let it roll. You know nothing about how hard grip strength stuff uh, is. Yeah, you know? yeah, right, 100%, look. Now he's trolling me. I was kissing. I I had it like proper up a minute ago yeah. in the air. Yeah, it's really difficult. You weren't watching. But now it's like, yeah, I'll wait. How do I do it? Just clip it. 